This is the word of God's grace brought to you by the Standing Church International. We're a life transforming church with a vision of raising a supernatural army for the Lord. Get ready to be blessed by God's word and experience miracles. Miraculous open doors by favor. Miracles that startle the imagination. They got not the land in their own possession. It's not just one plot of land they got to. A city, a nation that they are still fighting for till today. You have to allow God's word to stretch your mentality. God's word to break and shatter the boundaries of your thoughts. That stretch of land, how will you take it without your sword? Say, because you have a favor unto them. It starts with the imagination. No wonder Rahab told Joshua, when we heard that you crossed the Red Sea and all the things that started happening to all your enemies, from that day, our hearts fainted. Miracles that astonish people. You know, astonishment is not only surprise. Astonishment comes like fear that almost kills. Go and ask Nabal. When Nabal was astonished, he died. Shocked. They locked their gates. Miracles of open doors by favor. Say, who is this God? They were afraid. They are coming. Manna is falling. These people have a force that we cannot resist. Miracles that astonish people. Rehab told them these are the things when God opens doors to us by his favor by his compelling power it scares people there are things that don't make sense at all miraculous open doors by the favor of God 22 year old working with a bank on a first name miraculous open doors you be in charge of this national project 23 years old come and help us open this thing that this world class monarch wants to open 23 year old be in charge of the organization that's open doors by favor that is why, no matter where the testimony is mentioned, everybody say, ah, that is testimony that amaze people. Miracles that start to the imagination. Miracles of open doors by his favor. Some of you want to work with big men. Some of you want to be brought into exclusive circles. It's open doors. HND to PhD. Straight. It's open doors by favor that start to the imagination. Someone told me, he said, sir, I applied for something. There were 10 nations, US, UK, mentioned all the nations. I was the one chosen. It's miracles of open doors by God's favor. Now, any millions monthly on probation. He said, I'm the one that opens doors that no man shuts. God is opening your doors. Miracles of open doors by favor. There are miracles that start to imagination. That you don't qualify, but it's you they gave. You don't qualify, it's you they called. Be working with the owner of an institution only just coming out of university. What qualification do you have for that? Then you get on almost two years after they say, Let's train you, we will send you to MBA. And they sent you, and then they are telling everybody about you. It's called open doors by favor. That you can see an ordinary man moving around you, but the spotlight of favor is upon him. There's something on his head that makes him different from everybody that God has exalted his own. As I'm seeking, may this fresh deal of favor, may it rest upon you. May it rest upon your assignments. I'm hearing it. God's deal of favor is resting on someone's assignment. I'm seeing the word assignment. There's something that's been assigned to you. The favor of God is resting on it. When they carry you from HND to PhD, that's that. they can carry you without doing local government. They made you a commissioner. But you are not a politician now, but they've given you essay. All these great men, are they perfect? I don't know people. It's you that you are thinking governor. He's a person. He has people that talk to him. He has people that can say, Sir, I know one guy. His name is David. O. He's at the back side. They will embellish CV for you like this so that you can sit down. This year, may you sit on your throne of honor. May the favor of God sit you on thrones of honor. My God will put you in the seat of power. My God will carry you by his favor into the center of politics. You are entering political power. You are holding economic power. Some of you weekly, you will be given in millions. God will carry you into places where this type of things will come to you. Government appointments, multinational companies, deals. HND to PhD, please. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars scholarship, please. With monthly stipend at twenty-four, from being the daughter of a poor seller, she sold her first three million naira. One of us, young lady, she came, she gave her first million. She told me, she said, I paid all my master's fee by myself, pastor. I'm the first to do this in my family. I paid my master's fees, my accommodation, this is my first million. Why? Because doors opened by favor. I've contended for favor for years. Praying for it. Because it's as if this culture that many of us have grown up in is a culture of work to end. 
work is not bad it is work to end that is bad it should be replaced with work to add value not i must work for everything i get so i will be hearing testimonies i'll say how do they call people and give them contract of 20 million how i mean i'm not a skeptic i started contending for it too. because the way you know whether testimonies are true or not is not whether it has happened to you before or not is the breath behind it when you are hearing it when you are hearing it and faith is coming it's true i contended today now that one is history favor is our name you can put it in our middle name one of our people was trying to write a proposal for someone. This, uh, well, this is the first draft of the proposal. I'm not really sure why it looks like. He made some mistakes. Man, say, I don't care about your mistakes or your proposal. I like you. You send me the budget straight away. Forget about the proposal. It's you I want to work with. I've chosen you. I don't want to work with another person. God knows how he does these things. This is after this person has failed the interview with this person. That's why you passed the interview. Somebody said, I was failing election. I applied for something almost 500 times until favor came and opened the door. From that favor, as a student, went to Denmark on Monday, came back on Friday to the hostel with his colleagues. Why? Open doors. Somebody said, I won a competition against people that I wanted to mentor me from Silicon Valley. Won it live and direct. Got $10,000. One of the young men came back. He said, I just finished doing a particular work from a particular institution it has gone through. Now I need to go and present something in Belgium. He's still a student. Too. I'm looking for visa. Then he wants to so see to me, right chief behind. He said, why do you write chief in your name? He said, one day you called me chief, so I decided to start putting... I said, I don't remember that. I called you, so from that day, I said, chief. Because the words will come to pass. If they don't give you, won't you give yourself? One of us went to World Bank. 3,974 people applied. They were going to round up the selection to about 125 people. That will be shortlisted. Then they told all the departments in World Bank that were expecting these people for these programs. They said, pick three, 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 and arrange them in order of how you want them. Then they picked, one department picked and put her as number one. She sold her first $10,000 on that project. <laughs> Miracles of open doors by God's favor. Miracles that start to the imagination. Someone told me, he said, I went to get a job. He said, I prepared my slides before I went to the job. When I got there, before they asked me any question, when they said, introduce yourself, I did a presentation. When I was done with my presentation, they said, everything will have asked you is inside your presentation. They couldn't ask him any question. They said, just move. You have your job. That's miracles of open doors by favor. One of us said, Pastor, I'll be in Kenya this weekend. You will quickly go to bedroom, you will come back. From there, you enter Russia, you will come back. There's nothing inside all these things. It's God's lifting power. Thou has made my feet like iron's feet. The Lord my God is causing me to ride upon my high places. You are swallowing business mountains. You are climbing on the mountains of the earth. You are riding on the mountains of influence. The doors of places are open unto you. God is planting your feet in the corridors of power. You are walking upon your high places. One of our young ladies, Baba Karida. She woke up, grant idea came. She wrote grant, one grant in thousands of dollars, proceeded to Qatar. It's miracles of open doors by faith. When Nigerians win competition from Nigeria, you know it's a miracle. If God does not allow them to select you, it's not that you cannot do what is excellent too. It's just that you are competing against a set of people that have more access to resources than you. But no, my own has that exalted. It is not Saul's armor that David used to kill Goliath. It is his stones. Who, your stones are more than enough to carry you to the throne. Is thou anointest my head? I'm seeing this anointing for significance. I will multiply you. You will not be few. I will glorify you. You will not be small. That thing that has been making you look small, I break it. You know this is where they put you on the board. They give you shares. I have a name for it. Massive passive income that's my name for it you are not doing anything but the volume of money that is entering your hands because god has sent you to reap where others bestowed labor that others have built it favor is making them say put this person's name not for nothing you have served but the way they deem it fit to reward you is god's favor that is making your heart to be exalted this person has worked hard take 33 000 units People will start businesses, they will put your name there. Advisory boards, they will say, come and enter. They will be sending profits to you regularly. Behold, I set before you an open door which no man can shut. The last one, unexplainable deliverances by his mighty hand. 
Psalm 91 verse 14 to 16 because he has set his love upon me therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high because he has known my name he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him Job chapter 5 verse 19 I will deliver you in six troubles yeah in seven there shall no evil you that is if evil wants to be perfect it will still not touch you let them arrange the evil to match the number of perfection nothing let men gather around six is the number of man let them gather around to want to hurt you no man-made scheme will be able to eliminate you and when they have perfected their plan there is nothing that will still be able to touch you but it says nothing shall by any means touch you somebody was kidnapped up to six years ago now unexplainable deliverances by the mighty hand of god they took her to the den of the kidnappers. The phone she took out that day. She doesn't use that phone. No. If she had taken the other one, the battery would have died. This one, that's the day she decided to take it out. Because God knows our way. She sent us a message in the corner. How did I allow you to use your phone? I lay down on my bed and started releasing sounds. I started speaking, praying for her. Then I sent her a message in the midst of my prayers. Follow your heart. She stood up with boldness and started marching. And all the kidnappers were looking at her. She said she was afraid. Then she heard the voices of all the pastors telling her, keep moving. Keep moving. She said, I walked out on them. It was when she left, she was hearing them arguing. How did they allow her go? How did they? But unexplainable deliverances by the mighty hand of God. One day, one of our people was driving his car. There was a crossbar. The crossbar was low because his car brake failed. So the gate men ran away. So that crossbar was still low and he drove through and his car didn't press and there was no way the car would stop and a bus with children was coming how the car stopped nobody can explain unexplainable deliverances by the mighty hand of god one day one of our young ladies was inside the cab moving she was sitting in front of the cab that cab ran into a trailer and a metal from the trailer pierced into the glass of where she was sitting at and stopped in front of her head unexplainable deliverances by the mighty hand of god on my birthday 2020 they came to me and they told me they said Pastor and five people just had an accident i couldn't process i didn't know what they were trying to tell me so my mind was racing i said where are they they told me so immediately i picked my car and i went there that car had somersaulted several times into a ditch she came out of the car by herself push that car back down the car landed on the side some people came they wanted to say hey 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 you know that hey 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 can be the fear that will kill people she repelled them if your body shuts down your mind will take over if your mind shuts down your spirit will take over in a normal session she might not be able to tell me. she said she repelled all of them and she does not know where they left to is it demons that look like human beings because we didn't meet anybody when we got there if it was real people they won't leave she pushed the thing back the car sat down all five people came out there was somebody's laptop in the car it was flattened how do you explain that a woman wanted to board a cab and it's not that she tell you that i know the voice of the spirit though she just said i didn't feel like going i just waited and took another cab when we were going that cab had, had an accident and everybody there died what would have happened to her unexplainable deliverances by the mighty hand of god how do these type of experiences make people amazed when she jack meshach and abednego stood inside the fire what was nebuchadnezzar's response he was astonished. He was afraid. He said, didn't we cast three men into this fire? Why is it that I'm looking at four people and I'm seeing one like unto the image of the Son of God? He said, go and bring them. <laughs> they didn't smell fire. He immediately passed it into law. Anybody that speaks against this people's God, we will kill the person. What God is it that can save people like this? Oh, Daniel, is thy God whom you serve continually able to deliver you from the mouth of the lion? King's heart was beating. Then he heard the response from inside. They can throw you into the midst of boiling water. You will be drinking it like cold water. Unexplainable deliverances by his mighty hand. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, system problem. A man came and said, let us swallow Mordecai up. The way God delivered Mordecai was unexplainable. The day he was coming to come and tell the king that I want to hang this man. That's the day the king could not sleep unexplainable deliverances there are some of you they set traps for you you don't know i rescue you 
my soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the father the snare is broken we have escaped he said thanks be to god who has not given us as a prey to the teeth of the enemy god has delivered you from the teeth of the enemy god has delivered you from the jaws of death you are not permitted to be injured or wiped out in any accident he said behold i shall be a wall of fire around about jerusalem god encircles you like a wall of fire many things are happening in this nation you will not be a victim anybody that nears you will be crushed you are a lady they want to take advantage of you they are crushed they are swallowed up anyone that touches you when they come near you they will see that mark i sound judgment you will not be a victim of the system you will not be a victim of the system Nigeria is insecure. Things are not going away. No problem. Understood. But whatever wants to happen as a consequence of the insecurity of the bad roads, you are not the one to fall on. That night, the king could not sleep. It was unexplainable. How the killer became the honor. The one that said, let us kill. He became the one that was saying, this is the man the king has said, let us not. When he finished, he tore his clothes. He cried home. He cried and cried. He got home. He said, why are you crying? Then he told them everything. The wife said, if this Modeca is truly a seed of the Jew against whom you have stretched forth your hand, now he will begin to go up and you will begin to come down. God is delivering you from unreasonable men. In the system, God is delivering you from wicked men. Those men that said they will spoil your career if you don't do something negative with them. I sound judgment. I send judgment to them. They will get my message. One of our young ladies was somewhere. When God was elevated, my wife and I would say, God deliver you from wicked and unreasonable men. Then she went on a project. And one of the people that was handling all these things she was handling for, the person started to hijack the thing from her. The person was silenced with shame. You know, you want to enter, you want to do like this one doesn't know anything. Then everybody leaves you alone and turns to the one you are saying does not know anything. Then the person now went and did like a man went ahead to go and present what they did not send the person to present then the whole thing now flopped on her hand that's a man don't say that all these people that are wearing tie and suits that there's nothing in all those places engage warfare when you're in the system engage spiritual forces if you want to go up in the system unexplainable deliverances they were to drown in the water jesus walked on the water another time he rebuked the storm unexplainable deliverances whatever storm you have been facing in your place of work i speak as god's servant it is crushed whatever you have been going through whatever has been rocking the boat of your business now hear the word of the lord be muzzled i command every storm cease the red sea swallowed up the egyptians on behalf of the israelites the bible says the israelites walked through that's unexplainable deliverance by the mighty hand of God. They walked with which the Egyptians are saying to do. We're drowned. The things that look like they will swallow you up. Is your enemy to swallow up? The enemy that said you won't see next year. We will come for his burial. Because this year, there are unexplainable deliverances for you, for your loved ones, for your family. And there are unexplainable deliverances by his mighty hand. David said, God delivered me from the lion. He delivered me from the bear. He will deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. This God that I serve, may he set upon you to deliver you from evil men. You are set free. You are delivered. On my way out of a meeting, two old men came. They were old. Then they stretched out their hands that I must greet them by force. As I touched the first one, I did it. flew away. Thought the second one, same thing, flew away. I went my way. They came back the following week, shouting with rejoicing. What happened? One of them had been having eye problem for a long time. As she lay down to sleep, something fell down from her eyes. Instantly, the eyes cleared up. She slept in the night and in her dream, defecated maggots. When she woke up, her body was light for the first time in years. The other woman had back pain for 15 years. She got home, there was nobody to help her carry the things she usually has in the car. She said, let me just try. As she tried, she saw that there was no pain. 15 years. Now, all these testimonies, they were rejoicing. And somebody was sharing with her sister who was not around. And the sister said, I was not around. What of my own? Because the sister too, her own lump disappeared inside that meeting. So she said, you know, the lump that as she touched, it had disappeared. 
unexplainable deliverances by the mighty hand of God. Miracles that startle the imagination. Supernatural increase with peace, divine healing with joy, miraculous open doors by the favor of God, and unexplainable deliverances by the mighty hand of God. Miracles that startle the imagination. Lord, give me my own portion. Thou hast exalted my horn like the horn of an unicorn, lifting power. You are entering into your high places. He teaches my hands to walk, so that by my hand the bow of steel is bent. I'm seeing some people like Bezalel and Oliab. God is giving them skills, unusual skills. I'm seeing supernatural financial skills. Resting on someone like Bezalel and Oliab. God is anointing you with skills. He says of Daniel, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom of the Chaldeans so that in everything of which they were inquired, they were found to be ten times better than all their peers. I'm seeing the anointing for excellence. God is making them ten times better. The spotlight of God's favor has come upon you. God is making you ten times better. Behold, I set before you an open door. International waters. God is adding extra zeros. I've seen someone like that. Extra zeros. A little one shall become a thousand. A small one shall become a strong nation. Where you are struggling to get just a hundred thousand. You are giving tens of millions. Your gates of increase, they have opened. God is giving you gold in place of silver. He's giving you brass in place of wood. You have entered. You are carrying finances. Doors of opportunities are open. I hear it. Time and chance. God is causing it to favor you. God is bringing you to the right place. At the right time. Before the right people. In the name of Jesus. International doors open up. In one deal. What you have made in a whole year. God is putting it into your hands. Is increase. I will multiply you. You will not be few. I will glorify you. You will not be small. Whereas you have been looked upon narrowly. Whereas you were hated and forsaken. So that no man went through you. God has made you an eternal excellency. The joy of many generations. The sons of strangers will build your wall. The sons of them that afflicted you. They will come over to you. Bending down to you. They are bowing to you. They are licking the dust of your feet. They are telling you, take us to your God. They are telling you, we will save you. Ah, yeah, your gate shall not be shut. Day nor night. That men may bring unto you the wealth of the Gentiles. I'm seeing someone overwhelming harvest. Your harvest is outpacing your labor. You are outrunning the chariot of kings. You are getting to the place of honor. You are getting to the place of harvest. You are getting there ahead of your neighbors ahead of your colleagues ahead of your loved ones innovations inventions witty inventions let the spirit of wisdom let it rest upon you i cause that cancer i cause that sickness i cause high blood pressure i cause paralysis that stroke is cancelled now health has come forth the health of your loved one is springing forth the health of your loved one is springing forth springing forth springing forth that spirit of death that's been hanging over you hanging over your family there are unexplainable deliverances let that chain of death catch fire this month will be easy ease has come it's a month of harvest a month of glorious harvest your doors are open you are entering God has glorified you. Rejoice. What a refreshing time in the word it has been. We believe you've been blessed by God's word and have received encounters for mighty miracles. To download more messages like this one, please visit our website at www.thestandingchurch.com. There you will find an abundance of resources to help you grow in your Christian walk and deliver miracles of destiny to you. If you have never made the decision to be saved and would like to receive Jesus into your life, or rededicate your life to him. Please say the following words out loud. Lord Jesus, I confess you as Lord over my life. I believe that you died for me and that God raised you from the dead. I receive all that you have made available for me through your death, burial, and resurrection. I declare right now that I am a child of God. 
am free from sin, and I am the righteousness of God. Amen. Congratulations, you are now saved. We're so glad you made the decision to receive Christ today. Please write to us at plus 234-813-477-3145 to share your salvation testimony with us today. In or around the city of Ibadan, we invite you to join us at the Dominion Center for each of our services in the week. Join us on Sundays for our transformational Life of Victory services by 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Our prophetic lifting services also hold on Mondays by 5 p.m. And our prayer and communion services on Fridays by 5 p.m. Each of these services are put together to deliver God's word and power to you and bring you into the life of prosperity, health, dominion and liberty that God has ordained for you. Not in a battle. Don't miss out. Our services and special meetings are streamed online via our Mixer and YouTube platform at The Standing Church. We look forward to having you worship with us. God bless you. We cannot wait to hear your testimonies and we look forward to having you connect with us. Please write to us at info at thestandingchurch.com or call us on plus 2348-1347-73145 or connect with us via our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube at The Standing Church. We love you and God bless you.